Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm back with Casey Donahue. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. You are performing today at CMA Fest. How, are you looking forward to that? Always. I, I love getting on stage, and uh, you know it's going to be a good time, good crowd, great weather. I was a oh, little uh, beautiful. A little worried it was going to be about 110. <laughs> right. You know about 175 humidity or something, right. but I think we're going to make it. Yeah, we, we have had some past experience with those hot temperatures during oh, CMA man. Fest. Yeah, I'm from Texas, so we, uh, I know all about it. Yeah, you are huge, by the way, and like <laughs> Texas loves you. Everybody I worked out you. yesterday. <laughs> So not what I meant, but yes, no, nice, nice Thank muscles. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I love how successful your All Night Party has done. Did you expect your latest album to do that well? You know, I just, uh, I've always had the same formula since I started making music and just uh, I try to write songs that I like and uh, <laughs> that uh, if I'm singing along to them when, I, when I'm working on them, then uh, usually that's what I go with. And uh Lucky for me, I found a bunch of fans that have the same taste. So Yeah, you, a, a bunch of fans. You guys are awesome fans, by the way. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. You you sell out all kinds of things. You are so busy, and you have such great crowds at all of your shows, and you've had so much success and number ones, and I, I, the list just goes on and on and on. And just this album, I mean, that's not even counting what you've already done. I mean, how many number ones have I you had in I the Texas tour? I don't know. I want to say a 13, I think, number ones in the 13, Texas tour. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Yeah, it's, well, <laughs> and it's not stopping. And you guys are going to help keep it up, right? I mean, yeah, that's you know, just we, we've been doing this a long time, 15 years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, mainly started in Texas and in the last uh, decade, really coast to coast. And uh, it's just been a whirlwind. This was the last record uh, that we finally kind of started playing, uh, you know, big radio game. So mm -hmm. we've been flying around and getting an education on. Uh, uh, on getting people to play our songs on the radio right. it's uh, you think you would just send them a song and they thought it was good and they'd play yeah, it it absolutely. seems like a great right? formula but right. apparently that's not no. how it works yeah yes. yeah so, no uh, it, it isn't we're working on that <laughs> has, has the radio tour or radio stuff has it been has it been really eye-opening though as far as completely different than what you expected or are you wanting to do more of it is it fun or is it just kind of? I don't of know if you'd ever go with "fun" as the uh, <laughs> as the word you would you would throw in there. Eye opening, interesting. I mm -hmm. met some really cool people so far, uh, and I look forward to, to you know. There's there's a lot of radio stations, yeah, so we, we've we've touched. I don't know, maybe 50 of 160 right? or so Absolutely. that you that you need to meet with, and so uh, you know, building those relationships and it's. You know, being an independent artist, it's hard. We don't have anything to, we don't have anything cool to offer them. We can't give them backstage passes to Jason Aldean shows or right, anything right. To, to get our to get our song played. But uh, I mean, I could tell them I'd get them some backstage right, passes. Right there you go. Yeah, no. maybe print some up on my computer yeah. and see how it goes. But uh, we're uh, we're working on it. You know, we're just yeah. trying to trying to show people that uh, you know we're real folks. We're independent artists. We're doing this ourselves. No one's helping us and uh, give us a chance. Absolutely, we love independent artists. You know, that's, that's our main focus here at Center Stage. Um, the, the music that's out there is so amazing. The, the talent is just, it's just incredible. And there's so much of it out there that people, if they just listen to their country radio, then they're not gonna hear it all. And so I think it's really important for everybody to, you know, just kind of share a word of mouth, share it on Facebook. Social media is huge. And, and I know that your fan base is going to just continue to, to grow and people are going to continue to share it. But that, that really is the way that it's going. People are longing for new music, great music. And so they're, they're venturing out more these days, it seems to us anyway. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, the more success that uh, anyone from Texas, any independent artist mm -hmm. can have. I mean, success for any independent artist uh, trickles down. You know, yeah. it's a, it proves that it can be done. It proves that it works. It uh, you know, spreading the word. If if somebody goes, if I go to Montana and, and have a good show, and people get interested in bands from Texas, and all of a sudden, then other bands from Texas do well, or vice versa. Right. You know, it's really important to to, to get out there and, yeah. and, and support the music that you like. Absolutely, and I, and I, I love that you said that. Get out there and support the music because really, I mean, that's what it takes. The the fans, the musicians, everybody helping each other, supporting each other, networking together. Share it with your friends. You know, if if you like a song, I mean, you share it with your friends, and you know, get them hooked on it too. We can't tell you how many stories that we've heard where people are like, you know, I had no idea who these people were, and then I heard them, and they were great, and oh, I'm addicted, and now, and then they become like their own little street team. Yeah, and then it's, you find 
you find 10 other bands mm-hmm. from that one band that you really right. enjoy. You know, we live in a world of, of social media and people are really quick to to really jump on top of the things they hate. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, why do people, people care more right? about things they hate right. than things they love. And, you know, if, if you would sit some time, hey, sending out supportive messages to bands that you like, right. maybe people would see that and go, oh, yeah. I've never heard of that band. I'll check them out instead of, exactly. I hate this and I hate that. And right. it's just, so see you guys, send him your positive thoughts. Everybody love everybody. Tell him what you like. And until next time, follow him on social media, guys. Stay tuned for more. There's so much more coming up from this guy. So we'll see you soon. Yeah.